Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is a couple of circuits uh, that I made using the CD4046BE phase lock loop chip, which is a very handy little thing. Um, this one over here is just a voltage controlled oscillator. Uh, the the uh, 4046 chip has built in a voltage controlled oscillator or VCO and two comparator means of locking the output phase and frequency to what it receives as input. And on this board over here I've just implemented the voltage controlled oscillator. No phase locking on this one. And this one is the complete um, phase lock loop circuit with voltage controlled oscillator and an antenna to pick up RF feedback to go into one of the comparator stages which will then produce a phase locked output uh, and I'll be demonstrating that on the oscilloscope but the first thing I want to point out is that the output of both of these chips goes from the output pin in this case pin 4 through this anti-parallel pair of LEDs, uh, anode, cathode, cathode, anode, to one output lead, and that will be, going, be plugged into the load, just one uh, end of this coil that is, uh, oh, I don't know, about 400 turns of the number 27 magnet wire with a tuna can on top as a capacity. This is wound on a genuine oatmeal box. And uh, the same is true for the phase lock loop, complete phase lock loop circuit. Uh, the output from pin 4 in this case goes into pin 3, which is one of the comparator inputs, and also to this anti parallel pair of LEDs to one of the output pins. Now I have, actually over here, I can choose either. Um, the output before the LEDs or the output after the LEDs, but we'll be using the output after the LEDs. So from the output of the chip through the LEDs to one of the output pins of that connector. Okay. So the way the phase lock loop circuit works is that the potentiometer here, which is between the positive and negative rails, selects an output voltage that goes to the pin 9 VCO input and by varying the voltage on the voltage controlled oscillator I vary the frequency and the frequency comes out of pin 4 here through the LEDs to the output and by watching the behavior of the LEDs and the scope trace we can tell whether the coil is being resonated or not if we hit the resonant frequency with the voltage controlled oscillator the LEDs will light up brightly even though they're just connected to the open-ended coil on this side and the same is true for the phase lock looped part, except that uh, when the feedback antenna is connected to the pin um, 14 input to one of the comparator stages, when it detects the resonant frequency coming out of the coil, it actually provides a voltage to the pin 9 that takes over control of the frequency and phase of the unit. So it keeps the frequency adjusted to maintain the resonant condition of the coil. Uh, and you'll see that when I demonstrate it on the oscilloscope. I'm going to demonstrate the voltage controlled oscillator first. So stand by while I hook it up. Okay, now I have the voltage controlled oscillator circuit connected. I have the channel 1 scope probe connected to the output where the coil is connected. Just one end of the coil is connected. And I have the channel 2 scope probe connected to the pin 9 voltage input to the VCO and 12 volts coming from a little regulated power supply coming in there. 
Okay, so uh, as I turn the potentiometer, I'm increasing the voltage to that pin 9, and that increases the frequency of the, of the oscillator. And as you can see, at certain settings, the LEDs come on and blink. And then there's one setting where the LEDs come on very brightly, like that. And if I keep on going, increasing in frequency, I eventually hit the stop. Going back down in frequency. There's the LEDs coming on brightly. That's the point of actual resonance of the coil. Coming on down, there's another little subharmonic, and then all the way down to nothing. Now let's look at what the scope does when I do that. Okay, the yellow trace focus in it. Let's narrow this thing. The yellow trace is the uh, frequency where it's connected to the coil and the blue trace is the voltage uh, uh, that's going into the VCO. So as I increase the voltage you can see that we get higher and higher frequency and actually I should display that at a slower horizontal setting I guess. So starting again increasing the voltage and you can see we get higher and higher frequencies. There's those first two little flickers there of the LEDs. And right there, whoops, thereabouts, right in there, is the resonant frequency where the LEDs are shining brightly. And then past that we go up and up and up and up and up in frequency. Oh, there's, there's the resonance with the LEDs shining brightly. That's what that is right there. I notice that waveform. Now I'm going to move my hand towards the coil and back again. Notice that the frequency doesn't change, but the amplitude does change. This means that I'm changing the resonant frequency of the coil with my hand, but the circuit is not following that. The frequency is staying the same, so the output goes down. The peaks decrease in value and the output goes down because the frequency isn't tracking the actual resonant frequency of the coil. The coil's resonant frequency is changing because I'm changing the environment by putting my hand around it. But the voltage controlled oscillator is just putting out the same frequency. And the LEDs, when I do that, the LEDs go out because the coil's not resonating when my hand is close to it. Okay. So now let's look at what the full phase lock loop circuit does. Stand by a moment while I hook it up. Okay, same setup as before, except this time we're using the full PLL circuit with its little antenna. Uh, and there are the two LEDs, and I've got the coil disconnected at the moment because I want to show you the difference between the behavior with and without the coil. So, without the coil connected, the thing will just behave as a regular uh, voltage controlled oscillator since it's not going to be resonating anything or receiving feedback. Um, so, let's plug in the power. Okay. And as I turn the potentiometer, of course the LEDs don't light up because there's nothing, nothing on the output. And now let's look at the scope trace. Okay. Now I've got the range of this unit, <coughs> pardon me, restricted a little bit by choosing the resistors so that it stays fairly close to the um, resonant frequency of the coil as I made it. So at minimum input voltage, we have a frequency of about 540 kilohertz, nice square wave. And as we increase the input voltage, we get 
higher and higher frequency. Now we're up to 823 or 824 kilohertz. And back down, down and up. Beautiful square wave oscillation from the voltage controlled oscillator. Okay. And now, let's hook up the load. is just this coil with the tuna can on top, one wire, and as I turn the potentiometer you can see that at the uh, highest frequency the LEDs are out and as I turn down and down and down and down and down we get to a point where the LEDs come on and shine brightly and from that point as I turn the potentiometer if it's really locked in it should stay near the resonant frequency and if I move my hand in there the LEDs don't vary very much in brightness. Now let's look at the scope traces You can see that the wave shape is not quite square anymore. There's a little bit of bowing to the top and bottom. Now we're going to decrease the frequency. And there it locked in. You can see now as I turn the voltage, the frequency is no longer varying hardly at all. But what varies is the phase in there. So when I get it good and locked in, now I can move my hand near the coil. Now as I move my hand close in to the coil and farther away from it, you can see that the frequency varies so that the unit stays in its resonant mode. As the resonant frequency of the coil changes because of the presence and absence of my hand, the phase lock loop circuit changes the output frequency of the phase lock loop in order to keep the, the unit in resonance and producing that RF output that's being picked up by the antenna. Okay, so as I move my hand in there, you see the LEDs don't vary in brightness. Whoops, there it went out of lock. Now it's back in lock. If I touch the antenna with my finger, I can get it to drop out. And if I touch the coil, I can get it to come back in to the lock. And on the scope, that looks like this. Touching the antenna and touching the coil and moving my fingers in between there. Okay, so that's it. The phase lock loop keeping the, uh, or rather adjusting the frequency of the output automatically to keep the coil in resonance as uh, the environment changes a little bit from my hand moving around. Thank you for watching.